Aries, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we are gonna pull some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until, uh, until the end of this reading because we're gonna be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, let us begin because right now we can see here that there is a transition that's happening. So this is really exciting because you're, uh, you're, you're switching energetic frequencies, if you will, meaning that you're leveling up, you're evolving, right? And so this is going to be a little bit, uh, I want to use the word tumultuous. It's coming up. I'm going to use it. I don't know. Not entirely sure, but we're going to use it. So at the end of the day, we want to remind you this, right? When the path forward feels rocky and it's feeling a little bit resistancy, uncertainty, fear, I don't know. It means that there needs to be more connection to the universal guidance that comes and flows through you, okay? Being more generous of spirit, meaning that your only task in life is to report above. That's it. It's not to report to your spouse. It's not to report to your kids. It's not to report to your boss. It's not to report to your coworkers or your family or your friends. None of that. That limits you. That limits us when we do that, right? When we need the approval of others to be okay at doing things. Forget all of that. Your only necessity is to report above. Your purpose in this life, Aries, your purpose in this life, okay, is to show up and create the best version of yourself as an offering. When you have the intention that you, of, of, of creating the person that you wish you had growing up, oh, doesn't that just bring tears to your eyes? Imagine that. Imagine you had this person in your life growing up that was confident, that was cool, that was charming, beautiful, right? Sexy, inspirational, knowledgeable, safe. Imagine you had that, right, growing up. Imagine how you would feel life would be different, right? So be that version of the self today, you now, right? Be that version for yourself because you can cultivate it. You can create it. And when you have that as your intention, I'm going to create the best version of myself. You know what you're saying to the universe? You were saying, I am ready. And speaking of that, we're going to dive into your affirmation for the day. We want you to write this down in the comments below. I am worthy of making more money. Write this down in the comments below. I am worthy of making more money. I am worthy of making more money. Or if you want love, I am worthy of attracting love. Love and money are the same thing. But we want you to remember Aries that you are you are, you are the, the most powerful, worthy being to attract all things you want. But if you are putting your focus into thoughts and actions that don't align you with the outcome you desire, you are giving away your power. Okay. And that means you are not creating your best self. You are focusing on the fear that comes from not being connected and reporting above. Okay. So first of all, we're going to let you know, that a time of celebration is upon you, right? So if it has, if, if you don't feel like celebrating yet, expect it, it's coming, right? Expect the best, because you are gonna get the best when you expect the best. The reason why we don't expect the best is when we're not, we don't have, we're not doing things or taking action on, um, uh, for things that we know we've gotta do. Like I, for instance, I know I have to, um, be my best self and feel my best in order for me to be of service to you, right? If I'm not feeling my best, I'm going to be scattered, ungrounded, right? And, and, and I was just traveling. So it kind of came through a little bit, right? I wasn't in my best state, right? I didn't like that at all. That, that doesn't sit well with me whatsoever. It's basically me saying I'm not ready for more, right? And that's what we want to get through is right. Is that when you wake up early, it's an offering. When you work out right away, it's an offering. You're also raising your frequency, right? And then, so you're ready right? To let the universe know, right? Or you're letting the universe know I am ready. So that's why we have a, this morning routine where we wake up early, we work out immediately, right? And then we cultivate a practice of gratitude because what this is doing is saying, Hey, I'm here. I'm offering that I'm up early. I'm ready, right? Universe. I'm ready, right? Second is working out. So we're saying, okay, I am participating and, and, and I am providing my best because my frequency is high when you working out is just to raise your frequency. So whatever that is for you, if you do yoga and your frequency isn't raised, you're still in your negative self doubt. That wasn't the right form of exercise for you. If you do some hit training and you were depleted, okay, it wasn't the right form of exercise. Find what workout works for you, but you wake up, you work out. And then what happens is you start to practice gratitude. You take a journal and you write in it, right? And, uh, and, and you, and you, 
whatever gratitude looks like for you, right? But either way, this is going to be it because what this does is it opens up the portal of communication to higher intelligence, okay? To universal uh, flow, right? And you, you do this every single morning, non-negotiable habits. Every single morning you cultivate this morning routine and then you cultivate an evening routine that sets you up for success for the next day, right? For the morning, right? If you're eating junky foods all night, right? If you're eating junky foods all night, Aries, and, or, or, or late, and you wake up the next morning, your alarm goes off at, really, and at that early time, you're not going to want to get up. You're not going to have any will because you're going to be detoxing all this disgust, right? It's the same thing on weekends. Why is it on weekends we sacrifice ourselves just because it's the weekend, right? We sacrifice uh, tuning into universal intelligence, looking to the stars, right? Getting our guidance from above. Oh, it's the weekend. Let me poison myself. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. You know what, universe? Don't even pay attention to me for the next two days. Okay, I'm just a mess and it's fine. I sacrifice that and I am just going to, you know what? I'll tune in on Monday. I'll, I'll see you then, right? It doesn't quite work like that, right? The universe is always watching, right? We can't hide from it. We can't, you know, we can't lie to ourselves, right? Energetically, you got to be real with yourself. You got to get rid of the vices and you've got to start to understand that that morning routine and your habits, the only difference between uh, person to person is their habits, right? And what we see here is that there is great success waiting for you. And we want you to remember that it's your choices that you make and, and, and are the choices you're making aligning you with the outcome that you desire. That's the only thing you got to remember, right? So we want you to pay attention to the choices that you're making. Be the watcher, snow leopards. Snow leopards are what? Very rare. How often do you see a snow leopard just, you know, kicking it, you know, you know, trekking across the street? Hardly ever, right? They're watchers. They are amongst the trees. They are watching, right? They're watching the world from, from, from solitude in a sense, right? We want you to start being aware of the choices that you're making. Do they align you with the person that you desire to become, your ideal person, right? And, and be real with yourself. Be real with yourself on your truth, right? Because that's the only thing that matters is you living your truth, right? But do not expect, do not expect to receive abundance in the truest form for your soul to come up and show up for you if you are not telling the universe and letting the universe know that you are ready for it, okay? And that means, again, that you wake up early, you have that practice of gratitude, you work out, you take care of yourself, right? That's what it's about. Look, yes, things happen. They happen for a reason, and the only way that you're going to know why the reason is, is if you focus on the abundance mindset or choices that le that are, feel abundant for you, instead of focusing on the the fact that things didn't go the way that you wanted them to, right? When we start to focus more upon the things that we desire, the things that we don't desire start to fizzle away. But if we're focusing on the things we don't like, I wish I had more respect for my coworkers, more my peers. I wish that I had a relationship. I wish that I had more money. I wish that my body looked differently. If we focus on the lack, we're going to have a lacking life. We're going to be very, we're going to be stuck in that, in that, you know, on that timeline, right? In order to evolve timelines, we have to make choices that better us, right? Show up and be the best version of yourself. Because what we can see here is that there is uh, a, a, an un, in, in confidence, a self-esteem issue from you moving forward with your ideas, okay? And that self-esteem issue is generated because you know you need to make better choices that align you with the outcome of what you want. Now, those choices, right, are gifted to you from universal guidance, and it's going to come up, show up in the stream of your intuition or your conscious knowing, okay? You know how we all have a consciousness, right? Right versus wrong, right? It's like the same thing as like if you want to like lose weight, but there's fresh donuts on the office table and what, you just can't help yourself, right? Your emotions are kicking in. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. How can I not say no? Well, that's an emotional reaction, uh, meaning that it's not going to most likely align with your intention. And then you're going to feel really bad about yourself. Your self-esteem is going to go really low because you're feeling like I don't have the will to maintain the choices, uh, the, you know, the intention that I have for myself, right? But when you are connected and understanding that you report above, so the minute that you see those donuts and you're like, uh, uh, universe, universe, you know, guidance here and universe is like, are eating those donuts going to align you with your intention? You're going to immediately be like, no, they don't. And immediately the will is going to be there to not touch those donuts. It's going to be like, you're going to have this again, guidance of like, oh, I don't even want those. What was I? <sighs> Can't even believe I thought of that. Oh my gosh. Right. So that's the thing, right? The name of the game is to cultivate a practice where you fully understand that you report above, okay? You report above, right? And that guidance comes from the consciousness you feel, okay? Or, or your conscious voice, your conscious awareness, okay? And 
This is the whole name of the game, being here. Your only purpose in life is to show up and be the best version of yourself so universe can guide you into the acts of service that are gonna lead you to the abundance that you deserve. But if you're not feeling good in life, you're saying, I'm not ready for more, and that's when abundance gets pinched off. So be your best self, show up. Who's, the, who's your ideal person? Be that for yourself, and you get to unlock a bunch of abundance. It's gonna be crazy. So the, your angel message for today is family. Now, their message is this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal in your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Now, what this means is that if you have trauma that you are focusing on from a family experience, you've got to cut it out, Aries. It's not going to help you. It's not going to serve you. And I can tell you that from experience. I live most of my life uh, making decisions on whether my, my aunts and my grandma and my mom are going to approve, right? And we've all been there, right? Where we're looking for approval, seeking approval, right? The choices that we make, you know, will this be approved? It's not going to serve you, right? It's not going to serve you. It's going to hold you back, right? And at the end of the day, whatever you go through is merely just the foundation of what you are overcoming in order to be the best version of yourself. I overcame that, that, that needing approval. Then the minute that you let go, the minute that you detach from trying to please someone or trying to make it better or try to understand it, forget all of it, right? You're just going to highlight the problem and expand it in your life. Focus on you. Focus on your service. Focus on creating that connection to the universe. Focus on you creating the best version of yourself. I am ready. That's what you're saying. When you say, wake up every single day and say, I'm creating the best version of myself, right? So that I let the universe know I am ready. That's when you unblock all abundance that is readily here for you. And that is when life starts to feel at ease. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.